<clears throat> Ready? I am. All right. Let's do this. <sighs> Horsey! <laughs> oh, we didn't watch Torsey! Fuck! We're not going to be funny. <laughs> We're never funny. <laughs> Welcome to Aki Javier, where the Japanese beer industry keeps asking us to shave our legs for the camera. I'm Eric. I'm Casey. Today we are drinking the Ebisu The Hop 2016. So Ebisu is one of the major breweries. They're under the umbrella of Sapporo, yeah. who we tend to uh, quite like. Call it bias, if you will. Uh, they had this beer, The Hop, way back when I first came to Japan about eight years ago. Um, and that was before I really appreciated beer. But some friends and I and Casey were lamenting that this beer kind of disappeared some yeah. years ago all of a sudden. Um, and we kind of liked it because it was like more bitter than their usual offerings. It's a little and bit different. Especially like, you know, eight, nine years ago when there was, there was only, no yeah, craft there was beer only yeah. Japanese beer. So, yeah, waters. at least available to us. Yeah. You know, like those craft breweries existed, but like they didn't have any sort of distribution. There were no bars. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, so I was we were having this kind of like sob fest about this beer, and not a week later, I went into a Yamaya, and they had this beer right there, and I was like, "What the fuck? I haven't seen this beer in like seven years." Um, turns out it hasn't been gone for quite that long. No, but it has for a while. This is the first time it's been offered in five years. Yeah, um, it's backed by popular demand, so I mean, a lot of people liked it. Eric liked it. <laughs> they brought it back. Um, the big thing with it is that well, it's called the hop. Um, it uses like, half domestic hops and half Czech hops. And the other thing that's kind of noted about it is that it is kind of just left to its own devices for about 50% longer than normal every beers. Oh, right on. So it has more time to kind of become bitter and hoppy. Get hoppy. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I think if, if you like look at the website, it appears that this is only available in like the summer gift set. Yeah. Things, but I found it in individual cans, and so did you. Yeah, I actually so. picked these two up at a Seven Eleven. So right on. Yeah, I still I don't see it a lot, um, but it's just it's available in some places, and I imagine this will disappear really soon. I mean, yeah. it has the year on it for one thing, but another thing, it just seems like they're not that interested in making it. It is very clear. It's got good head. <laughs> Heads. Dissipating pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it looks just like a regular lager because it is just a regular lager. It smells just like a regular lager. It does smell a little bit hoppier than than an Ebisu would, though, like a standard one. It might. Yeah. It might. <laughs> yeah, you might be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's give it a try. Yeah. Let's just dive right in. Hey. I think the flavor definitely stands out as being quite different from a normal lager. Uh, like a normal ABC or okay. anything. Uh, there's a lot more flavor to it. Um, it it's it's almost like a roasted. I get I get kind of a roasted hint to it. Um, definitely hoppier. So they're winning on that front. It's not false advertising. Um, it's quite good. It doesn't have. It has a bit of a strong uh, initial taste. And I feel like, for the most part, that fades out pretty quickly. There's not a whole lot of lingering. You mentioned it like it's they let it sit yeah. for longer yeah. than a regular Ebisu. Um, I think the hoppiness is obviously um, more pronounced than like a regular Ebisu would be, yeah. which you would expect. The maltiness, though, too. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like you're saying, the hoppiness is the most pronounced flavor. Um, but after that kind of disappears, the tail end is mostly just a richer malt than you would get from this line of beers normally. Rich is the word I was looking for. Yeah, like, no, that's 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 a perfect way to describe it. It's good. I mean, Ebisu is a good base to work with. You True. throw in some extra hops and make it a little maltier, you'll end up with a really good lager. Yeah. So that's where we are. I mean, it's not particularly characteristic. There's nothing here that's going to win any originality awards, but it's a good beer. Um, It is a good beer, and the can design's cool. It's it's a limited summer thing. So. The can design is cool. The, the older ones were just like a... More of like a hunter green, like a dark green oh, really? color. So this okay. sort of like geometric pattern, I think, is closer to like a hop color. This is like camouflage level shit. If you drink enough of these and you just kind of tape the cans all around you, no one will know. <laughs> no one will know again. that you're an alcoholic. As always, thanks for watching us as we slowly kill our livers one beer at a time. Um, that's all I have. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check out our Twitter down here. Thanks to the musician up here. And check out our last episode up here.
And there's probably there's other directions too. There's that's, others. You could also go. That's probably that an advertisement. Way. I don't know. <laughs> like, and there's recommended videos. This one's gonna play next. There's probably ten best bikini shots over here somewhere. You goddamn perverts. Until next time. Bye. Bye.